All right, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going over how to create this kind of liquidy logo animation all in Procreate. So I'm gonna do this in roughly three steps. The first step is gonna be a, a setup. The second step is gonna be the little drips at the very beginning of the animation. And then the third step is gonna be the fill. The process changes for each step. Creating a document, this is an important part actually for this one. If I make a new document, I'm gonna make a custom size. Procreate allows you to use less layers if your document is a larger size or a larger resolution. So for this, I'm doing this at 1080 by 1080 pixels at 72 PPI. And you can see that that gives me 168 layers. For animation, that means 168 total frames. We'll get into what that means later. And what I had it at set, or 1080 by 1080 at 72 PPI, cool. So for starters, this is the setup part. This is like part one, right? I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a black background just because I like working with a dark background. And then I'm gonna bring in a logo. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, if I hit add, insert photo, this cool logo. This is a remake of another student logo. And then if I duplicate that layer and make one new blank layer, that's what like, watch how I set up my layers here. For the bottom layer, this is gonna be a guide. So I'm gonna have this showing while I'm drawing, but in the end, I'm gonna hide that layer. For this layer one, I'm gonna go ahead and grab black and I'm gonna fill layer one in with entirely black. So just dragging and dropping the little color fill and boom. If I wanna see it, I can drop this to like around like 90% or whatever. And then layer three is where I'm actually gonna be doing my drawing. So here's the thing, right? Procreate works with every frame is a layer. What we can also do is if I flick these two layers and group them, it sees every group as one frame now. So check this out. If I rename this group frame, let's go ahead and in my canvas preferences, canvas settings, I'm gonna turn on animation assist. And now because I've got one frame and one group, I've got guide and then frame, right? At the bottom here, I have two frames. Let's go ahead and set guide to be background. I tap that frame at the bottom and click background. And what that means is I'll be able to see that on every single frame until I hide the layer. So let's get to drawing, right? This is gonna be the first step where we're drawing the drips. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna duplicate my frame group a handful of times, five or six times, and then I'll start duplicating more as I go on. For the actual drawing, I'm gonna go between two brushes. For my drips, I'm gonna use the monoline brush in calligraphy, just cause I like how it uh, has a lot of streamline to it. Let's go ahead and grab any bright color. I'll use cyan. And then on my first actual frame group, I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna draw on this layer, right? I'm gonna draw on frame three and let's go ahead and draw our first drip. I can draw that and fill it in. Now, if I close that and go to my next frame, onion skinning is showing me that. If, if you haven't watched my previous video on animation, you should watch that one first. Onion skinning is showing me the original drip. I'll draw another drip, keeping it around the same size, the same shape. I can trim it up if I wanted to. Ooh, there we go, liquidy. And that's my process for this. I just go to the next frame, open up layer three and draw. So I'm always gonna leave at least one frame blank at the top so I can always have the spare little frame group to duplicate if I want. So let's go ahead and draw the frame where it finally splashes and hits the logo. I can draw a lot of little splash marks too if I want to. Just a little drip like that. And now here comes my next step of the process. With this next or last frame group that I have here, right? If you have, if you still need to duplicate more, go ahead and duplicate more. But with this one, I'm gonna clipping mask this layer three to the logo. What that means is if I'm drawing, it will only be able to show inside of the logo. So you see, I can't draw outside of the logo and that's gonna help us contain or constrain things. So check this out now, right? With this layer three, I'll go ahead and draw a little bit of the drip. I gotta close that shape, Oop, too high there. And drag that in. And then what I can do now is I can duplicate that frame. And on this layer, just draw it a little bit further. Start to give it a little bit of an organic shape. So again, I duplicate that frame group, open it up, and then on this clipping mask frame three, 
Oop, I gotta close my shape there. I didn't close my shape. If I close my shape all the way around, now I can fill it. There it goes. So, duplicate on frame three. Go ahead and add a little bit more. Whoops, too much. Didn't close my shape. There it goes. I'll just continue this process. And now what I can do is I can also switch over to just a wider brush. So rather than using the really thin monoline, I'll go ahead and switch over to the hard brush and airbrushing. Because now I can just start to fill, right? Whoops, make sure I'm on layer three. And now I can just start to fill it up and start to draw the swoosh around the outside and eventually or inevitably the swoosh in the middle of this logo. So process stays the same. Duplicate the layer, open up frame three and just add on to what I've got going on. So there's the first bit of it. We'll just go ahead and duplicate the group again. Add a little bit more on. Duplicate the group again. And that's my process. Again, some principles of animation. If I draw each frame closer together, the animation will look like it's going slower. If I draw each frame larger and larger, it will look like it's going faster. So let's draw pretty fast for like bigger additions for these so the logo speeds up a little bit. Duplicate the frame, paint on layer three, add it on, close the group, and duplicate it again. And I'm almost done. So once again, for the first drip process, I didn't need to worry about the clipping mask, but when I'm trying to draw just inside of a logo, I clipping mask those layers. What I like to do at the end now is just add or duplicate that last frame a handful of times just so it sticks the ending. Let's go ahead now and at the very end of it, scroll way back down, hide my guide frame, and let's play that animation. There it is, there's the basics of it, right? Group your layers, make sure that you have the layers organized uh, accordingly. I, I had that logo layer that I'm clipping to, the same color as my background, so it was real easy. If I wanted to, if I'm looking at this, the, the drips probably need to last a few more frames, maybe like that first burst like extends outward with each frame a little bit rather than only lasting to one frame. But from here, I can share that as an animated GIF or the animated MP4 if I was so inclined. But that's all I wanted to get through with this video. Thank you for watching.